Welcome to day five of sneak peeks for December's subscription box of the month. My name is Lynn and I'm filling in for Jamie because she's having some work done at her house and it's a little bit too noisy to film. Today I'm here to share with you the third stamp set you get in the box. It's called Dear Friend and it's a lovely stamp set. Look at all of these gorgeous critters and it's great that we have a couple of bunnies, a couple of deer, a couple of birds, and our bear. So lots of critters and um, and I love that they're facing you know, different directions. So if you wanted to combine multiples in a scene together, you can definitely do that. And that's what I'll be doing today. I'm going to start off with a little um, panel of craft card. I've cut this panel to four inches by five and a quarter because I'm going to use this panel fully and compose my scene right on here. So this is going to be a really flat card when we're done. And there's also, besides the critters, there are some uh, scene building elements too. So I've pulled out this branch, which is really lovely. It's, it's a plain branch and it's bare. So it's really nice for um, just setting one of the birds right on top there. And we do have a stamp option of a bird that is um, already on a branch, but I love that we also have this um, option as well where the there's the bird by itself and the branch by itself so you can kind of build up your scene however you like and that just gives you again more versatility so i'm positioning the deer and the birds as if they're looking at each other and i thought that would be super cute it's as if um they're sort of sharing a secret talking with each other and um, that's the thing that I love about, as I mentioned, having stamps where the illustrations of the characters or critters are facing in different directions because often um, I, I like to combine multiple critters on uh, a scene together or on a card together and this way it actually makes it feel as though they're interacting with each other. Also, sometimes if you like to place your focal image off to one side, it's nice to have them look towards the center of your card because it just naturally tends to draw your eye into the card as in uh, as uh, opposed to drawing your eyes off of the card because you tend to kind of want to look wherever the, cr the critter is looking. <laughs> so if the critter is looking towards the middle of your card, that's that's where your eyes will naturally go as well. So having a stamp set where the different critters are facing in different directions also gives you some flexibility in where you position your focal image. So my coloring is well underway here um, and it does take me a while to do color pencil coloring because I like to approach it in layers. And so I start with uh, very light pressure and I do tend to start with my shadows just to map out where those will be and work my way towards the highlight. What's nice about using light pressure and um, multiple layers is that you can build up that color and then adjust as you go. So anywhere you feel like you want a it to be a little bit darker, you can take another pass at it and add a darker color over top. If you want to lighten an area, that is one of the nice things about color pencil work because it's rather opaque and especially if you are working in light pressure, light layers, um, you can definitely layer a lighter color on top of a darker one and lighten that color up some. And being pencils, you could just erase it too. So color pencils are very, very flexible medium. And I feel like there's a lot of room for adjusting as you go, whether that's to lighten or darken an area or just erase um, an area altogether if you really needed. So, and you can see here, I, I keep revisiting some areas as I um, touch it up and as I kind of look, take a step back, look at the um, image as a whole and 
make the determination if I have enough contrast because that is one of the things that really brings your critters to life is when there's enough dark areas and there's enough light areas where you get that nice contrast so that it doesn't look quite as flat. And I'm going to ground my deer, um, my scene here with just again, one of the browns. I use the light brown um, for the main ground area and I use the darker brown to sort of suggest a shadow. When I color, I don't really pay too much attention to where the light source is because you know, I've never really taken a formal art class, so I don't really understand <laughs> all of um, lighting and shadowing, but the shadow on the ground of the deer's legs, it's just suggestive. So I don't think you have to be overly precise or concerned about exact light source. Um, I just wanted to make it feel as if there's a shadow and if that's not the right place for it I'm not too bothered. <laughs> so the last part of our card here is to just um, tape or glue this panel right onto my USA2 card base. So I hope you're excited. Tomorrow's the big day. The new box will be available. You can still get the November box um, in the shop today if you want. So be sure to check out the shop. And if you are interested, subscribing to the box of the month is the only way to guarantee that you do get the box every month because sometimes these boxes sell out pretty quickly and you just never know. Here are some more videos you might be interested in. Thank you again. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.